Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. This is a part two of an unboxing that I already did one and I got one of the knives and it was from QSP and it's for a pass around and that knife had some issues. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this box here to get a replacement. I think it's a brand new knife. So, you know, sometimes you get prototypes, you get first runs and uh, you know, just like anybody else, sometimes you don't get the perfect one. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this one here. Today I'm unboxing it with my Andrew Demco 20.5. This is in a 20 CV, uh, the slicer blade, which is like a drop point. And I have the original GOAT titanium milled textured scales. Really nice. Super sharp. All right. I think that should be enough. We should get us in there, right? Oops. We'll have to edit that little part out. So if you see a little cutaway and come back, that's because we had to edit out. I had my address showing, so. All right, so this is the Canary folder. This is the QS150J1. Got some scales, some stickers. This is the, uh, it's got the Ultim scale on here. And this one is the plain steel. Um, it's exposed regular steel. And so let's take a look at this. This is, I believe, does it say on here? Does it have the steel on here? I think, well, I think it's 14C28N, right? Uh, 14C28N, Ultim, all right, so very good. So the first one I had was really next to impossible to deploy and I couldn't reverse flick it, look at that. And that's so much better. All right, so no blade play, there we go. Oh, that's much, much better, yeah. I like that, I like that a lot. Now this is, this is perfect. Dead center, absolutely dead nuts. No detent lash, no blade play, no pivot lash. That's great. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, this is what I would expect right there. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Let me go get that other knife because we need to compare those two together, not the original unboxing. So, you know, just like anybody else, you sometimes, you know, it happens. Everyone gets not a great knife, even. We folks who review knives, they don't give us special editions of knives that no one else gets. And so they're not like these absolutely perfect knives that have been checked with triple and quadruple quality control so that we never get a, you know, a weird one. Um, we just get knives just like everybody else. And as with anything, sometimes the knife is not perfect. So here's a black one. This one was absolutely fantastic as well. Easy to reverse flick, works really nicely. Hey, this is a little bit on the smaller side, just so you know. As we talked about, and I'll merge the two reviews together, it's right on my limit here for my hand. Even if I choke up a little bit, don't have a whole lot of room. If you've got larger hands, you're going to be it's a three finger, maybe three and a half finger, just so you know. But this is a great little small pocket size. It's got a wonderful clip. I love that. I like this, per uh, this version better, the plain steel than the black. I know the black could be kind of cool. Some people might like that, but I, I like this version better personally. So... Uh, and I do like how the Ultim looks on this one here. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. This will either be the redo of the video or I will edit this and add it to the original unboxing. Um, originally, I started unboxing this box here, but my battery died. I didn't realize it was that low, so I apologize. So I'm going to try to recreate my initial reaction. I did open this and will open this with my Andrew Demko AD 20.5. This is the slicer version. Oops, let me make sure I do that correctly. This is the slicer version. This is in the CPM 20 CV blade steel. No thumb studs, if you notice. And this is the original GOAT titanium uh, scales. These are uh, textured and milled uh, titanium scales. Really beautiful uh, finish. And then it's got a Lynch uh, deep pocket carry clip. And it has the multi-row uh, skiff washers on there. Really nice. So anyways, I used this to originally to open that and open that, and so we got into it. So the original issue was when I got these knives, I got a black and a white version of it, or a, a plain steel and a, and a black coated steel. So um, this one right here is the is the version here. Oops, we got some stickers in here and the little card. Um, in case I don't use the other video, I'm just gonna kind of go through this. I opened this one up, and um, this is 14C28. And blade steel. This is an Ultim scale steel pocket carry clip. It's a very nice budget knife, but done really well. Steel liners, 
some nice milling for weight relief. But what I noticed when I tried to deploy it, it's very, very sticky. And it almost can't be reverse flicked, even with the right hand. And it actually got to the point where I've had that happen before, where it literally tore some of my skin. And I, and I was not enjoying that at all. So I could do the regular flick here with the left hand, but I could not reverse flick it. So, so the only way I can get it is to go out that way perfectly. It's the only way I can get it to release. And it's kind of dangerous because I almost get on the blade. So I was very nervous about that. And so I thought, man, I hope that's not how both knives are. Well, when I got the black one here, it was absolutely perfect. And, and uh, so I realized, you know, just like everyone else, not, we, we don't, we don't get like the perfect, you know, uh, version of the knife. They give us whatever's in the production line because this one's super easy to deploy, works really nice left-handed, right? I mean, reverse flick, and then I can absolutely take this one and reverse flick that. Works really, really well. Now, this is the black PVD coated. Um, not, not my the style I prefer. You can see the oil kind of sticks through a little bit on the Ultim scale. Has some nice texture. All that stuff is really great. Beautifully chamfered, everything around. I love the clip. Recessed screws. It's cut out into the frame, which is great. It is a little bit on the smaller side, so this is about the smallest knife I can truly hold with four fingers. And I have large hands, right? And I got big, meaty fingers. So maybe if you have thinner fingers, you might be able to get a little bigger hands in there. But that's the challenge that I have for that one. So this one was very, very good. I was very excited about that. I was very unhappy. I was very unhappy about this one, and so I reached out uh, to QSP to the person who, uh, in our pass around group who knew, was talking to QSP about this one, and you know mentioned this to him because I felt like if everyone got this, it would not be a good sample of what they send out because anybody who would get this would either sell it, get rid of it, return it, and not buy it. Okay, and and I think they'd want to know what's going on. So I'm going to ship this one back to them. And I went ahead and unboxed this one over here. And then this one, I actually have a return label on the bottom and I will ship that one back with this. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. So this is the, re the replacement one. Again, these are both the Canary folder, QSP 150, J1 is the plain steel. And then the J2, the J2 is the black, black stone washed, right, with the ultimate handle. Both of them are 14C28, which is a great, great budget steel. Really, really fantastic. And to really talk about the knife and not be distracted by it, I felt like, you know, you wanted to, I, you know, I can already feel how it's pulled at the at my fingerprint. I had another knife that did this and it literally tore my finger apart. And I couldn't flick a knife with a hand for like weeks. And I am at that point where I can't even touch that one anymore. It, it hurts. So this one works really nicely. Reverse flicks really nicely. Now I know some people love strong detents, but that was at the point that it was sticking. It was absolutely sticking. And I guess if you have super thick calluses, it's fine. I didn't care for that. You know, for a liner lock, I want to be able to get to it, right? It still snaps really well with the thumb studs. I have no issues with that. It's got a great deployment, actuation, you know, it pops out just, oops, don't get your finger in the way. You know, it pops out really nicely left-handed. And, you know, it is left, you know, lefty uh, ambidextrous and left, left-handed left compatible because you can swap the deep pocket carry clip. Again, recessed screws. It's a cut, a little cut out into the actual ultimate frame itself. And so that makes it nice. And this doesn't hurt my thumb, but this still is a little tender from that one, even what we just did right now. And that's what made me very concerned because if I had a knife like that, I would, yeah, I'd be returning it or I would get rid of it or something right and then i'd never buy from the manufacturer again and i don't think that's fair because every manufacturer you can't have perfect quality control and i get that and so i think this is just one of those cases where the quality control just let one slip by and they're brand new and so you're refining your manufacturing these are just starting to be made so i think i think it's reasonable to let them know that especially getting some of the first samples of the knife you know that they, they're shipping and i wanted to let them know that but this one is excellent it's absolutely excellent both of these now work really well right and i can absolutely oops absolutely deploy both of these and then i can swap them out and we can uh, you know absolutely do that as well and then we could absolutely reverse flick both of these really nicely. So I like that. I like that a lot. And I think that's great. So 
I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this the actual unboxing video, even though I originally had the unboxing. So let me talk a little bit about the knife. We're gonna exclude this one, we're gonna put it off to the side because it's going back, and we're gonna focus on what I think are two normal samples from the manufacturer. And I think this is what people should expect to see, and if you don't, you know, exchange it. Make sure they give you one that works, right? So you don't wanna have ripping your thumb so you never use it, right? So what I really enjoy about this one is it's, it's a liner lock does engage at about a good 40-50%. It's got chamfering all the way around. It's got a nice pocket clip that's rounded everywhere. It's very comfortable. I can do the squeeze test, no problem. Um, easy access, nice cutaway to the liner liner lock right there, right? You get good access, got a little jimping on top, so you got some texture you can reach into very easy. So that's nice. Uh, no lock stick, works really well. No blade rock in there really well. You have no pivot lash. It does go into the detent nicely, listen. Nice click there, so that's nice. Works the same way with both. Again, we're a good 40% there. Comes down like that, nice click. Now, I will tell you, and you'll have to, you'll notice this, I don't know if you can see this. Um, I don't know if we can see that, but there's, they have uh, black stone washed the entire liner, the blade and the, and, the, and the scales. And what happens is anytime you get a knife like that and the black coating is on the very tang, of of the uh, lock bar or the very end of the lock bar that touches the tang of the blade excuse me um that sometimes can make it a little sticky until that wears off and i had that with the devo knives a little pony stout once that it was perfect absolutely perfect they just put the paint the paint on there or whatever you call it and it kind of was making it sticky once that wears off it's absolutely fantastic so i really believe that's the situation here and uh since it's not my personal knife i'm not going to be sitting here you know flicking it forever and I think by the time it gets to all the different pass around folks, it'll be absolutely perfect, right? So that's something you always have to deal with a black coated PVD or black stone washed or DLC or anything like that. Now DLC is kind of an exception. DLC is, you, it, it's almost better than the actual plain steel. So that might be the exception, but PVD, Cerakoted, uh, black stone wash, all of those things really have that sort of issue. So it's just something to keep in mind. Um, and, you know, even though I feel like it's sticking a little bit, I'm very, very confident that this will go away. And I'm sure by the time we do the full review, you know, it might very well be gone for me, 100%. It's a brand new knife right out of the box, right? So we did the initial unboxing. It was really quick. I kind of stopped it because of that. I just really, really couldn't use that. So that was really, really nice. All right, so... You can see in here, there is a cutout right here for where the lock bar, and that's where the lock bar goes. And you'll see that cutout is right there as well, and it's right there. So just just so you're aware, I did double check this. This is not a crack in Ultim. Ultim is very tough, very durable, way better than I think G10 and uh, FRN and stuff like that, and highly, uh, very heat resistant. So that is just the milling to allow that lock bar to engage and go into the scale. You see that? So don't be fooled by that. Don't think that's a crack. It's not, it's not. I just wanted you to know that because when I first saw it, I was like, what? No, it's not. It kind of stands out more with the black though. You really can see it in the highlights, that cutout that's right there. You see it cut out right there and it comes down like that. So anyways, um, really, really nice. Um, not too sharp on the edge in the back. It's got a nice wedge on top, so that kind of helps you navigate. We'll talk about the blade size. It is a little bit on the smaller side, like I said. It's not even a full three inch, so, you know, places where you have to have under three inches, this is a very possible knife. Let me put these boxes off to the side. You know what they are. It's got the stickers, the little specs on there. Um, I do like the Ultim. I've, I don't have any knives with Ultim yet, and I am very interested in that, maybe considering it, so that would be something I think would be kind of cool to check out. But, um, yeah, um, I like the thumb studs. They are the volcano type. It's got a radius, easy to get to, easy, comfortable to get. You know, it's not barreled, very sharp, so that's nice. Uh, you do have access to the flat grind. It's a full flat grind. And so, uh, I, yeah, I can do it on this one. You can do the middle finger bonus flick. I call it bonus flick because you can get the finger on there. Probably works really good on the blackstone wash because it's using to have a little more texture. Let's see. Yeah, absolutely. Blackstone wash works really nice on a bit reverse. Yeah, absolutely like that. So you get the bonus flick. You have the thumb studs, you know, which is which is nice. You have reverse thumb studs and the, the front thumb studs because, you know, it's it's a liner lock. But I get that little bonus middle finger flick, and I like that. I like that. To me, that's kind of cool. 
everything's rounded, no sharp corners. I think that's great. I love the ultimate material. My first impression and what I said before, I'm trying to repeat what I initially had. So I know it's not an absolute like, you know, oh, whatever. And if there's parts of it I can edit and bring it in, I will try to do that. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, if it doesn't, this will be it, right? If it does, you'll see little snippets here and there. But um, yeah, so we're we are looking at uh, looks like T sixes. I'm gonna double check that. Let's see if that's T sixes. So here's a T six bit T six. We have. I definitely recommend nice bits. Let's take a look. Yeah, so T six, T six, and let's see, is the pivot T eight? Yeah, the, T, the pivot's T eight. So let's do that. So this is the. T8, let's check the pivot. Yeah, T8 on the pivot, so very nice. I mean, it, it, I, I'm, I'm assuming at 14C28, uh, 14C28 blade steel with Ultim scale steel liners, a steel pocket uh, carry clip, this is gonna be a good budget knife. This will definitely be under $100. I am pretty sure of that. Now, Ultim, sometimes people try to charge extra for Ultim. I, I don't know. I don't know if there's it, Ultim is, you should be charged extra for, but you know, it's kind of a fad and sometimes people will charge extra because of the demand for it but i do like the texture on here it does have some nice you can feel that nice texture it's not too aggressive it'll go in and out of the pocket nicely but it'll definitely give you a nice grip you know i'm not a big fan of the speed holes but these aren't so big i'm gonna feel like my fingers are gonna get in there and get in trouble uh so that's nice but it does do it does do some weight relief which is really cool especially with the steel liners in there um blade stock thickness not too terrible nice and rounded on this one especially on the, the plain uh, steel. This is more rounded than I feel. Yeah, it's a little sharper on the Blackstone wash than it is on here. So that's interesting. But I like that. It's nice. It is a stone wash finish. Both of these are stone wash, which means they'll take, you know, when you use them, abuse them, scratches won't show up. They'll kind of blend in really well. That is nice. Uh, the liner lock works really well. I do like the liner lock. See, and this nice drop, it's got a nice sharpening choil that can drop right on my finger. Not gonna be a guillotine, it's not gonna cut my finger. It is caged uh, ceramic bearings in there, so that's nice. Um, I'm sure if I had one of these, I would put skiff washers in there, um, you know, just to kind of test it out. If this became one of my knives that maybe I put in the car or something. It is a very nice shape blade. It's a beautiful drop point. I like that. I like the swedge. Very, very useful. Nice big belly goes full flat grind down, which is nice and thin and becomes a nice slicer of a knife. So to me, it's very functional. There's no jimping on the spine, which, you know, could be a miss, but you got the thumb studs. So that gives you a little stabilization right there. I mean, it's not a super hard use knife. I don't think you could do push cuts. You can do push, pull, uh, push cuts and pull cuts like that uh, for sure. And it does stabilize well. The, the chamfering that's all around here, it's almost like a little contoured here. You can see that, which makes it very comfortable. No sharp edges. I really, really dig that. Even this clip is not hot spots or anything like that. That's nice for, especially for a smaller knife like this, right? I feel like I got a good full presentation, full grip on this. So that's nice. Yeah, I think that's really cool. As you can tell, I like the plain the plain uh, steel one. This is really my sort of favorite one. Now it is 14C28 in. I didn't see this little oil in there. I would clean this out, obviously, if it was mine. It's got dirt in there. I mean, yeah, that's what happens with a new knife. But I don't see 14C28 written anywhere on there. It does say it on the box, but you know, sometimes they kind of hide it in there somewhere. And I'm not, oh, there it is, 14C28. There you go, all right. So 14C28 is right there. Let's see, is it on the same spot up here? Yep, there it is, 14C28. So there you go. It does show the, the blade steel right there. So that's nice. Uh, I, I love the action. Of course, it feels a little smoother with a, with on the plain one than the Blackstone wash. So I think that's cool. Now, Blackstone wash is gonna be a little more clandestine, a little more, you know, doesn't show off, doesn't stand out. So if you're trying not to, you know, people to see that you're carrying a pocket knife. Maybe you're in a place where people, I don't know, are all weird about that, which is kind of ridiculous. I live in Texas, so no one's weird about a pocket knife. Matter of fact, most women have at least one or two pocket knives in their purse, my, my wife included, and my sister-in-law who moved down here from the north. Once she came to Texas, she got herself a pocket knife and has at least one or two in her purse as well. So that's just kind of a Texas thing. We all have pocket knives, you know, even down to the kids. So um, yeah, really nice. I like everything about this, very comfortable, works well in the left hand. I think it's gonna be a great lefty. Um, I do think if you have extra large, double extra large hands, you might, you know, you might be, you know, a little three and a half finger, but still nice. Could be a great little like, you know, 
carry a knife to the gym when you want something very discreet maybe a fifth pocket knife could be really that as well so that's really nice um, you could absolutely do that yeah so what I'm gonna do here is uh, what I do sometimes when when we have it with the paint sticking in I'm gonna lock that I'm gonna lock that lock bar in I'm gonna kind of get it to wear a little more quickly because it, it was sticking there and let's let's see if we can just kind of wear that down a little bit because then it's gonna not stick. Yeah, it's already starting to release now that I'm doing that. Yeah, there we go. Because it was sticking, and I was like, what's going on? It's like, right as the, the coating that's on the, the end of the blade starts to wear off, it sticks a little bit more before it finally gets free. And then sometimes I take it apart and I clean it out because of that. So, it's cool to get a black one, just realize you might have to, you know, deal with a little lock stick for a while, wear it off, and it'll be fine. You might have to clean that out. That's just one of those things where you know if that's the black the black ultim is like your 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 thing that you love go for it just but just be aware of that and it'll be perfectly fine it's already getting to be really nice the stick is going away i can already feel that yeah so and what i would do is like i said i would kind of push that in a little bit make it a little sticker a little sticker a little stickier so that uh it's a little extra friction there as i'm kind of, kind of coming off off that tang of the blade right and sometimes you can actually see that black on there oh yeah you can see it on here you see that you see some of that paint and so if i if i get my cloth and clean that let's see if we can do that if we clean that tang of that blade off let's see yeah there's no stick look at that you see that so that's the paint coming off or the black stonewashed PVD coating, Cerakote. I don't know what it is. It looks more like PVD. So, and that, yeah, look at that. You, didn't, you can't even hear anymore. Ready? Listen. Yeah, the stick is gone. So that was that black stuff that was on there. Once I wiped that off, you know, and, it, and it's so minor, right? So minor in there, you know, and sometimes maybe they put a little too much oil in there. That's why I would clean that out because that's a lot of oil, which is fine. I get it for shipment and all that good stuff, but there you go comfortable knife i like everything about it i like the lockup i like the grip i like how it fits my hands i like the steel i like this drop point i like the swedge i like the design of the blade there is no no jimping which is fine for me uh, it's got some nice texture on here it gives you good presentation good grip i enjoy that the action is really nice i love the liner lock great access to that uh, i love the fact that i can use the thumb studs reverse flick uh, front uh, thumb flick and then i can use the middle finger for now that's the only thing about plain steel, especially if it's a little slick like that, and your hands, if it's dry out, you might not have as much grip on that blade like I normally would. Now I can get there. If I go a little bit lower where that flat part of the grind, it works just fine for me. And, and I like that. I like that a lot. So very cool. Those are all very positive things about the knife that I think I'm very much enjoying. All right. So again, this, this knife got replaced by the manufacturer. We're going to ship back the other one. And this happens. This happens at times. And I just want you to know that I'm not some you know special person that never gets a knife that does that just doesn't work right. Sometimes you just get a bad one. I know QSP. I have a lot of Q. I've owned a lot of QSP knives. I like their knives. The quality is really outstanding on their budget lines. I always expect them to be really outstanding. And for me to have run into that was really an exception. And I'm glad they were able to fix it. And so that's just kind of shows you that I think if you get a knife like that, definitely check it out. Make sure it's not sticky. You want to handle your knife. I feel like that's important. If you order it like off of an online retailer, once you get it in, open it, flick it. Make sure it works really nicely. Make sure it's comfortable. Make sure there's no blade play. Make sure the detent locks in there nicely. There's no detent lash. That's when the detent ball goes into the hole on the blade and it locks the, the blade in. That's what keeps it locked in place with the detent ball, right? And the detent ball is on the liner lock here you can see that little detent ball right there right that goes into the hole of the blade you can hear it click when it goes in there and then that that resistance going over this what gives you that detent to be able to flick the knife you want to have that resistance right you don't want to have it so crazy that it rips the skin off your thumb separates and you have a wound on your finger because you can't open it now some people love that crazy kind of detent you know, maybe they take that knife and give it straight to to lefty EDC or somebody who just loves crazy ridiculous detents you know some people they go for that not me right um, especially if I want to be able to use that middle finger that middle finger reverse flick you know I like that I like that bonus flick to me and you can't have a crazy crazy detent and still be able to do that right so uh, 
the clip is nice. I mean, it's steel. I, I'm not sure what the price is. I don't have that information. This is just unboxing, first impressions. We'll talk about it in the review. The review in full, long-term impression. Um, I, obviously, it's not going to be a full review like I'm going to be beating up on the knife because this is a pass-around knife. And I'm going to pass it to the next person. They need to have the same experience as the knife brand new as well. So, you know, I'm not going to do anything to the knife. I'm just experiencing. I'm going to handle it. And uh, so far, the, that experience is very positive. Very good. Very good. So, very excited about this knife. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to review and uh, get this going to the next people. But um, really cool little knife. Again, this is called the Canary Folder. And I like it. it's Canary because it's yellow Ultim, right? So I don't know what you would call it if it was the, the Smoky Ultim. Would that be the, uh, I don't know, would that be the Blackbird, the Raven, uh, the, the Raven Folder or something? I don't know. I'm trying to be funny. But I do like that Canary Folder. Kind of a nice uh, term because a lot of people call this something else and I, I won't refer refer to that. I know what everyone calls it. I'm not going to call it that. I, I just like the, the yellow. I think it's a nice, beautiful color. I saw TRM was doing some Ultim at the time when, a long time ago when I got my first Atom from them. And, uh, you know, it's been around for a while. It has. It's been around for a while. It's not something revolutionary and new. It's just gaining some popularity because it's a new material, a different color, and you can actually you know, have a little different shades on there, and it's pretty nice. You can have a clear Ultim. You can have a black, smoky Ultim. I think you can do some hues of colors with the Ultim. I think Original Goat, actually, you know, where I got the scales, they do some crazy things with the Ultim as well. So that's pretty pretty cool to check out as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a quick close-up of this knife so you guys can see that. Actually, you know what? Let's see if I can do the presentation. Of, eh, maybe we'll just put the two knives together like this. All right, so let's see if we can see the two knives together like that. Kind of, and then we'll do the back side of the knife. All right, now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. So then we'll be able to zoom in on the scales and then the blade. Let's flip it around. We'll do the blades here. The thumb studs. And we'll do the scales here. You can see the little a steel bar. Uh, you can see the insert for the for the deep pocket carry clip where you can reverse it. That's nice. I like I like the uh, the captive pivot on this one better than the black. Now, if you like black, I mean, more power to you. But I like that personally. It's more my taste, right? I think this is nicer. It has a nicer shade of yellow as well, right? Some people would call it have terms for it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna entertain that but you know uh, i like it i think it's cool and i like the texture on there all right so that is that is the canary folder by qsp i think it's a cool little folder it's very basic it's kind of bug out ish people could say it's a copy of a bug out. well yeah i mean but it is it is a cool basic folder and i know qsp is going to do this really well at a great price and uh, i'll have a link in the description for the knife you can have more information about it prices and look at it if it's available or as soon as it's available if it's already out uh, then the link will show you where you can get it if it's you know, if I have a link for someone where they will be carrying it, I will have that as well. So there you go. This is the QSP Canary folder. You have one with a black stone wash, and then this is just a plain stone wash. Both of them are 14C28 and blade steel. It is the Ultim Scales. Um, on the black one, it's also the black steel liners. You have a steel insert for the lefty carry. And if you flip it around, you'll see the, the uh, deep pocket carry clip right here. This is a plain one as well, but it's nice and rounded. has a nice little bill. Very comfortable. The recessed screws, easy to get to. Very nice. Very, very cool little knife. I'm looking forward to it. I, I think this is going to probably be a recommended knife. I'm just guessing at this point, unless something surprises me. Um, and I and I want to I want to say a big thank you to QSP for sending a replacement. That really, that, that's I, that's what I expect out of QSP. They're just a good good company. Okay, so I'm just going to be straight up. I I would be surprised if they wouldn't have taken care of that. All right, so that's just where I stand because I know they care about their product. I know they make a quality, good price product, but they want to make sure their quality is top notch. So that's why I respect them. That's why I love my uh, I'll have my my penguin the. the traditional pocket carry knife my penguin plus that i very much enjoy um and uh, a few other ones and i can't remember what the other ones are in my collection right now but anyways yeah oh i, I know they the Q, they also qsp make made the um 
The Landers, yeah. So the Landers are really cool, great knives, by the way. So yeah, they do a lot of OEM work as well. So there you go. All right, if you have any questions about this review or uh, unboxing, it's, it's not review, excuse me, this unboxing, would you let me know in the comments down below? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out. So let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about this unboxing and ultimately the review I'm gonna have. I'd love to answer your questions. If you have any questions for the channel, I do try to reply to everybody and have and interact with you guys. So I appreciate you guys. I really do. So, you know, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, entertaining, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? If you've already hit that like button, would you hit consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really, really helps out the channel. Allows the channel to grow, allows me to produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. And, and I just appreciate you guys who watch the videos, who like the videos, who subscribe, all that stuff really is a huge help to the channel. So thank you. And if you haven't already, maybe consider hitting that notification button so you can be notified of future, con when it's, future content when it's dropped. And finally, to all my channel members, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you to you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, you're just huge in making this channel what it is. And I know some of you guys have been here from the beginning. And I just thank you. I thank you guys for that. If you guys have been on the fence and you're kind of thinking, hey, maybe I want to be a channel member. There's different tiers. I have some very basic ones to some more advanced ones, three different tiers. I would love to have you. There is no requirement. Please don't ever feel obligated or feel pressured to becoming a channel member. I want that to be something you would want to choose to do, and I would be honored to have you. Um, I do try to say thank you to every one of the channel members by, you know, you get some special emoji stickers, you get some uh, a special exclusive early release content, you get some exclusive content, polls, you get some community posts, some things that we talk about. We also... Um, you also get uh, some a sticker. Uh, everyone who becomes a member, I absolutely, if you become a member, I'll send you a sticker. And then the very top tier, there's a very exclusive sticker for those guys that I do send out as well. And it's my way to say thank you. And then we have a once a month giveaway for all our channel members. Uh, I do that. Uh, we had the one in December. We're going to have one in January. So I'm looking forward to that. Always something nice to say thank you to my channel members. I want you to know that. So yeah, if you want to you become a channel member, I'd love to have you. And if, if not, you know, no worries. I still appreciate appreciate you whether you whether you become one or not but i appreciate you watching the videos being part of this you guys are awesome so man yeah i do appreciate this it makes this fun i really like and like the part about interacting with you guys i love knives i love talking about knives i love everything about knives and i appreciate other uh, knife nuts and knife nerds out there like me like you guys who love knives as well so it's a lot of fun makes this really enjoyable and i appreciate you guys for that all right uh if you haven't already maybe check me out over on instagram make sure i have that right side up yep on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives again that's on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives hey thanks so much for watching today have a great day and a great week bye